Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel, Joy Root Jojo. It's the 10th video in my tutorial series on Intune. In the previous video, we have discussed about configuration profile, how configuration profile works, and all theoretical stuff we have discussed in the previous video. And in this video, we will check the practical session. We will do the hands-on on configuration profile. So before getting into that, as usual, please do subscribe and like this video. And if you like it, uh, please share it to your friends. And if you have any suggestions or questions, please mark it in the comment section. And please do support me. Uh, with your support, uh, I, I get an encouragement to do more videos on Intune. And I make sure deliver the videos without any mistakes and collect the data from the official Microsoft website. And I prepare myself before I deliver a video before you. You can, you can have a trust on me and watch these videos. All right, let's get into the practical area. So now I like to show you how we can create a device configuration profile and we can do that by starting out here in the uh, intune.microsoft.com and get into the con devices scroll down you will get the configuration profile here now configuration profile is sort, sort of like what we had in our uh, domain environment we had we had gpos uh, group policy objects in our domain environment and you know that was one of the most powerful tool we had as a administrator and still it is available in the uh, in the on-premise uh, structure so as you know microsoft is trying to now more control things in the cloud as opposed to on-premise but one of the uh, downside uh, of course with on-premise gpos is that they could only really manage windows devices but when we come to configuration profiles in Intune, it can manage all the platform like Apple, Mac OS, uh, iOS, uh, Android devices, Linux in some, uh, some aspect you can even manage Linux devices. So here we have a huge area when we compare to the group policy. To create a configuration profile, we'll click on create here and click on new policy. When you click on this platform, you could see all the platforms here like Android, uh, Android Enterprise, Android Enterprise, iOS and iPad OS, Mac OS, Windows 10 and later, Windows 8.1. So all the platform you could see over here. So we are selecting Windows 10 and later. And now I will warn you, this is yet another uh, one of these screens that seems to change every week. So don't be surprised if things look a little different. So we have, uh, uh, when we click on profile type, you could find two uh, file type here. Like one is setting catalog and another one is templates. So let's know the difference between the setting catalog and the templates. Setting catalog uh, on a newer Windows devices, use setting catalog to see all the available setting in one location. For example, you can see all the settings that apply to BitLocker and create a policy that just focus on BitLocker. So that is what setting catalog. So we'll select the setting catalog and we'll create a test uh, a profile here just to understand what setting catalog and how it looks like. It's taking very long time to load. Yeah, so we'll name something and click on next. So here if you click on that, you could see, as we mentioned here, uh, all the available settings. See all the available setting in one location. So here you can see all the available setting in one location here like if you select uh, bitlocker all that belongs to focus on bitlocker you could see here now we'll just check what is uh, templates we'll create a new policy we select the platform as windows 10 and later and here we select templates so what is templates uh, on android ios or ipad os mac os and windows devices the templates include a logical grouping of settings that is the difference It'll include a logical grouping of settings that configure a feature or concept such as vpn email kiosk devices and more so here if you check you can see some kind of logical grouping like administrative template delivery optimization device restrictions domain join email or kiosk uh, some kind of logical grouping you, you could see here a vpn wi-fi a certificate so this is the difference between uh, the templates and catalog. So now let's create a config configuration profile to just control panel access. 
so i have already created one what i do i will remove that and we'll create it again i'm deleting it now let us create a configuration profile to restrict the control panel access to do that click on create click on new policy and here here we have to select the platform we select it as windows 10 and later and profile type this time we will select as setting catalog so we have seen the difference between the setting catalog and template template is something like a logical group group logical grouping of settings and then when we come to setting catalog we get all the available setting in one location so that is the main difference between setting catalog and templates so in our case we select setting catalog and we click on create and we name it as like control panel restriction so before doing that i just want to uh, tell you one thing in this video we are just seeing an example how to create a configuration profile just uh, by doing a control panel restriction and in the coming videos we will uh, explore more options that we have that are available on the configuration profiles uh, actually we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of policies just like group policy uh, settings uh, as a system administrator if you have worked as a system administrator you could see uh, in group policy there are hundreds and hundreds of policies that we can create it in the same way in this configuration profiles here we can create again the same or more than that policies and uh, profiles we can create it here so in this video i'm just giving you a uh, one example uh, of configuration profile by creating or by restricting the control panel access and in the coming videos we will be creating more and exploring more options in configuration profile so i'm giving the description as uh, control panel restriction again and click on next and if you have to click on add settings and uh, click on administrative templates we have control panel here when we click on come control panel we have uh, many other options related to control panel so that is what uh, we discuss here all the available setting in one location so here we have all the available settings related to uh, control panel in one location so here we uh, click on control panel and we get the settings here and we select this one prohibit access to the control panel and pc settings for the user so we select that close this here we have to enable this prohibit access to the control panel and pc settings for the user and click on next scope tag is not required we we'll click on next in our case we will allocate to all uses and all devices or uh, in the in a production environment allocate to the concerned group accordingly so don't uh, blindly allocate all users and group as it is a question environment uh, lab environment here i can uh, i don't care all all those settings so i click on and if you want to exclude someone you can exclude it here i don't want to exclude anybody so click on next review and create it now we have uh, created the profile it is listed here as control panel restriction so if you select that it is not succeeded with anybody it, uh, with any of the devices it will take some uh, it will take some time uh, you can expect some one hour or two hour time to get synchronized and get applied to all the devices so what i do i will uh, pause this video and will go to all the devices and will uh, manually sync that uh, and uh, we'll go to all devices and we'll sync from the intune center intune admin center i'll go to the windows devices and we'll select device and we'll sync it from here for all the devices so i'll pause it right now and we'll get back once our configuration profile to restrict the control panel access to the users when it get applied we are trying to access the uh, control panel and we type for control panel and we click on that we get a message like this this operation has been cancelled due to the restriction in effect on this computer please contact your system administrator that's it we will meet you in another video and uh, please do subscribe my channel uh, and please encourage me to do more videos in intune only if, if there are enough viewers i will get an encouragement to do more videos on intune so please do support me we'll meet you in another video till then goodbye